The multiverse, though, um, one of the ones that's interesting to physicists is something called the inflationary multiverse. We can look so far out into space that we can see the light from just after the Big Bang, about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, actually. And in that light, before there were stars and galaxies, there are also patterns, which um, are patterns that match on to the way the galaxies are distributed in the sky today. And um, where did those patterns come from? Well, the best theory we have is a theory called inflation, which says that before the Big Bang, in the sense that before the universe was very hot and very dense, it was still there and it was kind of cold and empty, but expanding very fast. And then that very fast stretch of the universe came to an end, slowed down, and in the slowing down, the universe got heated up and all the particles out of which the stars and galaxies are made were created. So that's called inflation. And many physicists think, so there's good evidence for that, um, now, many physicists think that that inflation doesn't all stop at once, but stops in little patches. And so you have a little patch of this ex rapidly expanding universe that slows down and makes a big bang. That would be our universe. And then the rest of it carries on, and another little patch slows down and stops, and you get another big bang, and that would be a different universe. And so that's called the inflationary multiverse. A, a load of bubble universes, if you like, so essentially an infinite number. And that could be our reality. 